Well, let's focus on a couple of uh, companies then that came out of the set of numbers. Granules India, that's a stock in focus. The company reported a flattish revenue, but margins recovered to 10 quarter highs. And that's something that the street liked. During its conference call, they indicated that growth will revive from FY25 onwards. To discuss this and more, we're joined by Krishna Prasad Chigurapati, the chairman and managing director of the company. Hi, sir. Good morning and thanks so much for joining in. First of all, good to see that your margins have recovered to 10 quarter highs. So thumbs up on that front. Tell us how, what's the trajectory going ahead? Will the focus be more on profitability? If yes, then do you end FY24 flattish? And what's the growth estimate you have for FY25 with the broad margin outlook? Good morning. Uh, yes, this, this quarter we had very good uh, uh, growth in uh, gross margin. This is mainly because of the new product introductions uh, and from India and also from the US. Our US products, in, especially in the controlled, controlled substance space, have picked up and they do contribute to healthy margins. So we do expect this to continue. And as we launch more and more new products, we expect that we should not go down on these margins and we should be able to maintain these margins. Margins and will looking be maintained? At, uh, this, year, th this year will be sort of flattish, but next year we do expect decent growth with introductions of new products and also some new capacities coming up in uh, uh, first phase of a new formulation plant. We expect to see some decent growth and uh, it'll be decent. Yeah. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Chigurpati. Margins, margins will be maintained. Okay. I, I think the word decent differs right from person to person. But uh, let's talk a little bit more about the US markets because you've seen almost a 21% growth year on year. But quarter on quarter, your US business has slipped about 5%. Are you still facing any pricing pressures in the US? If yes, what do you think the average run rate could look like over the next few quarters? We expect uh, there is pricing pressure. Some products we have to take price hits, but some other products we were able to new products, especially we were making up. And uh, uh, definitely we will be able to maintain this uh, uh, ratio and slightly keep increasing them. In the short run, at least for next year, we expect that U.S. business is the one that will contribute to our growth, and followed by Europe. Okay. Oh, oh, that's interesting that you're saying that Europe will contribute to growth because Europe saw a big decline this time, almost 16% decline. And, uh, you know, the API business across the board has been under quite a bit of pressure as well. Uh, so, uh, you're confident that things will improve in the quarters to come? And if you can just give us a situation on the ground in Europe right now? Europe was mainly a paracetamol market, API market. And uh, we were trying to uh, get into the FT space, and we did. We have uh, many approvals already, and we are launching one by one of the finished dosages, licensing different people in different countries. So the paracetamol prices, which uh, in the last few years were very high, had come down. Uh, also, our raw material prices have come down. So that's the main reason for fall in European business. It will slowly keep growing with FT business, which are more profitable than the API business. Also, in addition to the price fall in paracetamol, which led to a lower revenue, uh, when also some of the paracetamol and other APIs we had, metformin and other things, we are using them more and more for our finished dosages and PFIs. So it's cannibalizing on our APIs. And this is as per plan. As we go by, FDs will take over more PFIs and APIs too. All right. Uh, you know, so what's encouraging is not just the margin improvement, but the cash flows as well have improved. So that's good news. Now, could you give us an outlook in terms of debt? You have some expansion plans that are coming on stream as well. The last recorded debt, I think, was around 930 crores. What's the outlook from year on? We should be able to actually, if not for the first two quarters, uh, our debt position would have been far better. So we were able to maintain our debt. So that's a good, good news. And uh, going forward, we will be bringing it down in spite of uh, uh, the... Uh, capex. Uh, only thing is, as we increase, there could be a little extra requirement for uh, working capital, but we should be able to maintain that. All right, uh, we leave it there, sir. Thank you very much. Good conversation as always, and uh, we hope to look. We look forward to speaking with you soon again. Thanks indeed uh, for joining us.